Hi guys, Christian here. So you want to participate in an IGO, an initial game offering. Today I'm going to take you step by step through Seedify, the best IGO launch pad there is right now on the market. I'm going to take you from setting up your account to getting your KYC approved to buying your S fund tokens, to getting them staked and getting your allocation ready, to actually participating in an actual IDO and purchasing tokens, then claiming them and getting them directly into your MetaMask wallet. So let's dive right into today's video. I know what you're thinking. Why would I want to participate in an initial game offering? Well, here is why. Take a look at some of the returns that you can get and what Seedify has seen over a last few of their IGOs. Previous IGOs have been all the way up to 169 times what the token debuted for. So you can see a lot of these made a ton of money, including Citus, which I was able to participate in as well. That one at the all-time high was 107x. So there really is the ability to 100 extra money. The team at Seedify has some amazing documentation and their Medium pages are where you can find just about everything there is to know about getting started with Seedify and utilizing the launch pad. So if you have any questions, I'll leave the information in the description down below so that you can refer to it whenever you need to. But I'm going to take you step by step through this entire thing so that you don't have any questions at all once we're done. First things first, for every reputable launch pad, there's going to be a KYC portion, which is know your customer verification. That makes sure that certain people are not allowed to participate in certain types of activities. So if there's a problem at all with your KYC, you won't be whitelisted for their projects and you won't be able to participate in them. Most launch pads use either BlockPass or Fractal as the two providers of choice when it comes to know your customer verification. In this case, Seedify uses BlockPass and we'll go through a couple of the steps that they're going to require for everybody who uses their launch pad. You can see the documentation that's required in order to get your KYC completed. You're going to need a passport, a national ID, or a driver's license. Your email, family name, any other given names, you're going to have to take a selfie, put together your date of birth, your proof of address, and your MetaMask address or another wallet that has an Ethereum-based coin associated with it. Getting started in the KYC process, you can see one of the questions I'm asked most often is, can I participate in this particular IGO if I live in a certain country? In this case, you can see the list of countries that you're not allowed to participate in IGOs with. If you do live in one of these particular countries and you still would like to participate in a Cedify IDO, you may want to think about joining our private Discord membership. And I'll leave a link down to the description below. We have members all over the world and can participate in just about every single launch pad that's out there. But after you completed your KYC, we'll jump into right now what happens next how you get your s fund tokens the easiest way you can find to get just about any token that's available out there is to go to the coin market cap page scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see what exchanges the particular tokens are listed on in this case you have a couple of centralized exchanges that you can go to to purchase the s fund tokens directly or you can go to one of the decentralized exchanges like pancake swap in this case and i'll show you how to do that right now on PancakeSwap, you can swap for just about any token that you would like. And I'm going to swap for some Binance tokens right now for some Seedify tokens. If I go in here, I can choose maximum. I just hit that. It's going to show me how much Binance tokens I've got and how many S Fund tokens I can get. So how many S Fund tokens do you want? That's the next question, right? I'll take you right now into the tier section so you can see exactly how many Seedify tokens you're going to need to be in the specific tiered section so you can get an allocation in the next IGO. You've got nine different tiers that you can participate in. So depending on how many Cedify tokens you have staked on their platform, you will belong to one of these tiered sections. It starts off at 250 Cedify tokens, and that's the lottery system. It'll get you a pool weight of 1.2, which is not very big, but it'll at least get you started in the Cedify platform. The next is 1,000 tokens, 
2.5 thousand and you can see that it goes up from there. You get a different pool weight and a different allocation of each IDO depending on how many CDFI tokens you stake. Once you've got your CDFI tokens, I'll show you how to take them into the CDFI platform, how to stake them, and that's when you can start participating in these IGOs. Once you've got your CDFI tokens in your wallet, you're gonna come to the stake section on the CDFI.fund website. You're gonna go into the stake and you're gonna choose how long you want to lock your CDFI tokens for. You have a choice of either seven, 14, 30, or 60 days, and depending on those different time frames, you're gonna earn a different percentage interest rate on your CDFI tokens. The longer you lock them, the higher interest rate you get. But you can lock them for seven days and get about 5% all the way up to 60 days, at which point you can lock those tokens and you can get about a 55% interest rate. So depending on how long you lock them for, you'll get a higher rate of return and you'll get more tokens out when you withdraw them. Once your tokens are staked, you can go into your user profile. You can see your details, your staking balance, your liquidity balance, and the total balance that you've got. That'll let you know exactly what tier you're gonna be in when it comes to these IGOs. The next thing you wanna do is go into the dashboard and you can see what IGOs are upcoming and which ones you can participate in. In this case, you can see we have Space Misfits, Heroes Chain, Sin City, and there's a lot of upcoming IDOs on the calendar. So you can participate in any of these once you have had your token staked and you have your guaranteed allocation. As each IGO becomes available, you'll be able to go out onto the dashboard and participate in any of them. You'll see that the countdown timer will start to count down. You can approve the token in your MetaMask wallet. Once it's approved, it's going to be able to be taken out and then you can purchase that particular token when it becomes available on the platform. Once the buy token icon shows up, you can click on it approve the transaction. Once you confirm that, it'll show up in your MetaMask wallet as a confirmed transaction. If any of the allocated IGO tokens remain available after the sale, they do have a first come first serve sale for those leftover tokens. So say only 80% of the tokens were purchased during that sale. 20% of them will go to a first come first serve sale that happens directly thereafter, where anybody who's a part of the CDFI platform and is approved to purchase tokens on the CDFI platform can go out to the first come first serve sale, get an allotment of tokens and purchase them at that time. You've bought your tokens and now you want to claim them. So there's a tab on the very top section of Cedify that allows you to go into the claim section. You can scroll down until you find the tokens that you've purchased. The claim section will be live. So you can hit that claim button. At that point, you claim those tokens. They go directly into your MetaMask wallet and boom, you're done. Also to understand that some of these projects do have a vesting schedule associated with them. So it may be a three month vesting schedule, a six month vesting schedule. So it'll only allow you to claim a certain amount of tokens for the first three months or six months or however long that vesting period is. You may get 30% in the first month, 30% in the second month, and then 40% in the third month. But do know that these claim buttons will only allow you to claim the amount of tokens that are available at that time. You may get a certain percentage of them and then at that next claim, you'll get another certain percentage. And then at that final claim, you'll be able to get the remainder of them. So that's another way that the projects allow you to go out there and claim those tokens, but not be able to claim 100% of them all up front, because at that point, a lot of times those tokens will get sold off extremely quickly, and it'll affect the price of the token very dramatically. Here's a list of some of the upcoming initial game offerings that are happening on Cedify. Are you excited about any of these? If you are, leave a comment down below on which project you're gonna participate in. And as always guys, please make sure to smash that like button. It does amazing things for the YouTube algorithm. Also to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you haven't already. If you're interested in joining my private Discord server, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's got everything from announcements to DeFi to gaming, play to earn, NFTs, and so much more, including a very special Ask Me Anything area where you can get every single question regarding DeFi answered. So until next time, I'll see you on the next video.